super duper stoked. So, uh, typical things to say, this is Dark Souls 3. It came out earlier today. It's by From Software and New Game. Go! Uh, just brightness. Uh... Yes, indeed. It is called Lothric. Where the transitory lands of the Lords of Cinder converge. In venturing north, the pilgrims discover the truth of the old words. The fire fades, and the lords go without thrones. Undead Legion, the Abyss Watchers. And the reclusive Lord of the Profaned Capital. Yon the Giant. Kindled will rise. Nameless, accursed, undead, unfit even to be cinder. And so it is that ash. So, uh, first impressions. This is exactly like Dark Souls 1, uh, in terms of feel. Except it also has a giant, so it's freaking awesome. Uh, and I'm really, really stoked. This is gonna be great. Okay, name. Let's get, let's get started. So name is gonna be Dude Awesomeness. Gender male. Let's, uh... Let, let's go ahead and go with a go with a female here. Young knight. Now we'll go with a. Uh, I don't know. I'm gonna play as a warrior class here. And burial gift. Let's see. We get to pick something to start with here. So we have something that lets us uh, go invisible. It looks cracked red eye orb. <laughs> Rusted gold coin. Greatly increases item discovery for a short while. Used to acquire many souls. Fire gem. Black fire bomb. Hidden blessing. Divine blessing. Life ring. I think I'll probably go with the life ring first. Uh, face presets. Let's see. We'll go with... Yeah. There we are. That's all I needed to see. Alright, uh, build level 7. Let's see, I guess I get to... Oh, wait, these are... This sort of... This is what it means by build. Well, I'm glad that the character creation seems about the same as it did before. 
Okay, let's uh, pop over into appearance here. I'm not gonna mess with it too much. Ooh, voice. We're gonna go with an aged voice. And skin color. We're gonna go with very, very orange. This, this lady has been eating all of the carrots and potatoes here. Whoops, I was looking at the wrong thing. There we are. Alright, she looks like she just got a faked hand from the swamps or wherever the hell it's that she came from. Looking good. Change will be discarded. No. Alright. There we are. So I had to choose it or whatever with X and then it worked out great. Okay, finalized creation. Let's go. Okay to start the game with this character. Hell yeah it is. Updating the save file. And let's get in to Dark Souls 3. Could be doing lots of rolling around and stabbing and all that crazy crap. Huh, the undead rise from a graveyard. Who could have seen this, uh, this coming? Alright, Cemetery of Ash is the first area, and looks good. Let's go ahead and see what this message says. Control camera. Oh, I thought it would say something like, Praise the sun! Regular attack from right button. I remember that. Uh, strong attack from the trigger. There we are. Slick animation. Look at that water. Look at that. That's really, really nice. Okay, we're gonna lock on to this dude here. Hello! I'm here to ask you a question. Do you like axes? The answer is... Well, he doesn't really get much of a choice, does he? Okay, back step, and... To roll, we do that. Tap to do back steps. Okay, very nice. And let's just uh, start killing my way through the Cemetery of Ash here. Very... Oh, man. This already feels awesome, and it looks... Super duper good, in my opinion. Uh, behind enemy critical hit. Well, I'm not going to be able to get the crit. Never mind, I am. Oh. Oh, that felt good. Oh, did that feel good. Was there... There was an item back here, yes? There is. Okay. We get a Estus Flask thing. An Ashen Estus Flask. Okay. I don't know what that is, but we're going to find out, I guess. Maybe recover his MP. Okay, left trigger to parry. Right button to repost. Alright, do it. Well, that was close enough. There's the parry. That's fine. So left trigger, the parry. That's fine, I was never good at parrying anyway. Okay, left plus the right button to, uh, to kick. What is it? How, there we are. You just have to hit them both at the same time. I don't know, I've never... I was never really too hot at the... At the more advanced, uh... Maneuverings that you can do in the Dark Souls games. I was more of just a run up and slap them with the axe type of person. And I'm glad to see that that is still going to be more or less intact. Let's, uh, let him do his things. Yeah, I mean, I figure it got me through Dark Souls 2 in a relatively, you know, I died a lot. And I got completely, like, stomped 99% of the time I fought something. But, you know, it worked out well enough. It was kind of just a very long, uh, long process. But over... Oh, turn back. Heh. <laughs> nah. I, I think that was just a message left by another player. I assume that by going down this path, I'm going to wind up running into, like, a ogre or a troll or something. Big and nasty. Or perhaps just the rest of the game will be over here. Who knows? Anything? Anything? Oh, that. That's what I thought. Hello! I'm gonna... I'm gonna... I'm... I'm gonna... Let you do your things! Okay. That all worked out good. Alright, come on. I just gotta see what this guy's up to. And smell what he's cooking with. And then I ought to be able to hit him. And then roll away. Excellent. Okay, hitting him with the axe did very, very little damage. I probably should have not been fighting this person. But it's fine. I can work with this. Alright. So he's gonna do... Attack on me. Yes. Okay, there it is. Excellent. Glad I was able to establish that. Does this person have any weak points? 
Uh, the answer is, I can't really tell. Is he gonna throw another attack at me? No. Good, let's roll away. Let's roll the hell away from this. Okay, he's gonna do a rolling attack, maybe? No, okay. That's fine, he's down to 75% health. I don't know what this is, but I'm gonna get away from it. That's... Good thing I kept my distance there. And unfortunately lost my tracking on him. Let's, uh... Okay, so he hurt me with that. He broke to my shields a little bit. Naturally, the shield is the basic shield, so it's not gonna have a whole lot of the nice, uh, like, properties in terms of, like, physical block. It's gonna have a reasonable amount. I think I should probably be able to kill this guy. Let's, uh, let's, let's start playing a little bit more aggressively against him here. Ah, oh, I staggered him. Very nice. Should be able to get another hit, and let's roll away now. Oh! <laughs> yeah! There we go. Yeah, he thought he had me. Turns out he did not. Let's roll backwards a little ways. It's uh, a hidden. Roll backwards. Okay, good. He's gonna throw another hit at me. Nope. Is now let's roll away. Very nice. Hit him. Roll back. I'm gonna probably need to roll to the right. There it is. And let's get some hits in on him. Oh, he staggered. Oh, a back attack. And that's it. That is all she wrote. Wait. That's all she wrote. Ha <laughs> ha. Titanite scale. Excellent. Cool. That was fun. Totally didn't need to really do that, but that was fun. Anything to. Ha, ah, look at all the blood stains. I did not join them because I remember how to play this game. Let's go over here and get this thing. Soul of the Unknown Traveler. Very nice. All right, let's, uh, let's move on. Let's ease on down the road here. I feel pretty cool having taken on a medium difficulty enemy, I guess. Like, right at the start of the game, you know? Just a little bit of like, yeah, well, this is Dark Souls. You can't just, you can't just do things. Want the lore for that thing. Nah, I'll figure it out eventually. I don't know. I bet if I look at the Titanite chart, I'd be able to uh, read some of the lore. In fact, I should probably read some of the lore in general if I'm going to be playing through this game by myself in any sort of uh, long-term capacity anyway. So let's... Uh, what do I even have yet? Well, we'll, we'll do lore at a, at a nice downtime here. Uh, for now, I'm going to just continue forward because I believe I've done pretty much everything in this area. I'm gonna... Yeah, so this was the side path that had a couple enemies, but we're good. Let's go ahead and move forward then. And we get... Uh, change weapons, which I don't have any other weapons equipped. And Estus Flasks and Ashen Estus Flasks. And there we go. There is some real beauty right there. Very nice. If I know Dark Souls, cliffs tend to not be the most safest parts of the game. I guess we're heading our way up this little passage towards that castle. There is a bell over there, I'm sure. And like most things Dark Souls, I assume if there's a bell, I'm going to be ringing it. Let's go ahead and fire up this bonfire here. Got an achievement there called Enkindle. I feel very, very achieved having done something like that. Oh, I didn't rest. That's fine. This is going to be a uh, no rest challenge here where I just never... I, I activate the bonfires, but never actually, like, use them to recover my HP. In fact, I'm gonna... This playthrough, the challenge is I'm never gonna recover my HP at all. So no SS Flasks, no bonfires, and no, uh... No, like, life gems if they have any equivalent of that. Anything down over here? Let's get this item real quick. And then go down over here and see what's going on. Anything? This looks like a couple of dudes. One of them has a ranged weapon, so I'm gonna try and uh, see if I can get one of them to approach me. Doesn't look to be the case. That's fine, I can also just not be a total bitch and uh, get closer here. Okay, he's got his shield up. Uh, ow! Okay, it's fine. Let's get in position here. Luckily, luckily he didn't set me on fire with like flaming arrows or something like that, which is what I expected. Alright, got a firebomb. That's not too useful. I'm gonna go back up to the... an insomnia playthrough. Yep. <laughs> Where I just never rest. <laughs> I never save the game, even. I just play the game one shot all the way through. Alright, I'm gonna actually just go back up over here. And No, wait, I don't want to use the bonfire, because that'll resummon everybody. That's definitely not something I want to be doing. Okay, we can do... what is this again? Uh, we press left... Bump, uh, we plus left trigger while, or not left trigger, left thing while running. 
So holding X and then jump. Excellent. Got it. Okay, that part's all the same. Glad to see that they really didn't futz with the controls whatsoever. They absolutely just let them let them be. Alright, I'm gonna try and land on that little mausoleum-y thing over there. I guess it's a coffin. Jump. Close enough. Definitely definitely what I expected to have happen there. What is this? Right button mall following me to do a plunging attack. Anybody down there to plunge? There is plunge. I have plunged thee. And here we are at this, uh, I love how, like, mobile I already feel while playing this game. Like, I don't feel very sluggish. I felt like when I was playing Dark Souls and Dark Souls 2 that, like, man, your character just didn't have any hustle. He had maximum chill. This guy, or this gal, she has maximum hustle. And that's fine, I didn't want that item. It's okay. I tried once or twice. Obviously, jumping to get that item is something meant for other players, but not for me. Then I saw its face, and now I'm a believer. Okay, we have a swamp with a dude in the middle. That dude is... He looks pretty sad, which means he's probably not going to fight me. On the other hand, there are a lot of dead bodies around this dude, meaning that he's absolutely going to fight me. Ooh. Oh. That looks really, really cool. I want the sword, though. Give me that. Oh, hi. Oh, shit. It's the first boss. It's Idix Gundir. Okay, well, let's, uh... I'm gonna keep my distance a little bit, let him do his things, while I figure out... Okay, so that's a, that's a nice little one pattern here. Should be able to roll into some of these directions here. Okay, good. Let's get a hit in on him. Let him do his things. And just roll past him there. Uh, let's roll. Okay. I'm glad I feel as mobile as I do. Let's uh, roll back into some distance here. Let my stamina recharge. Move forward. Rolling. And let's get some hits in on him. Since I have the opportunity here. He's gonna do his stabbing attacks. Okay. He was able to hit me from behind. That is to be expected. I'm rolling a little bit too often here. He should be able to hit me with some of these, but he's not. That's fine. Let's roll around him and hit him. Roll! Ow! Oh! Ooh. Okay, that's fine. I have SS Blast charges for a reason. reason. Let's uh, use the SS Blast real quick. And uh, get some distance between me and him again and just reassess my, my things. As usual with Dark Souls... If you roll and then continue to hold down the roll button, you do like a second roll, which is a feature that I really hate, and I'm just gonna have to come to terms with it. Oh, oh, fuck you, fuck you, fuck this, fuck everything about this moment right now. What the hell is this? Oh, this is some bloodborne shit. Okay, let's uh, roll in close, hit him once or twice, back off. Uh, you're gonna. You know, gonna roll a little bit. Okay, that, I have my shield up so I didn't deal any damage, but I don't have any stamina right now. Let's get in close. Let's dash. Charge. Roll. Get behind him. Get some hits in with the axe. Okay, don't want to hit him too much, but we got him. We got him. No! No! Okay, one more hit with the axe. One more hit with the axe. Okay. Let's back up. Backing up. Backing up. Backing up. Backing up. Okay, use the SS flask. He's down to one last hit here. One last hit and he's dead. And he's coming in nice and close for it. Fuck. Okay, he had another uh, hit up his sleeve there. He should be fine, he should be fine, he should be fine! Shit! What is this? What is this? What is this? What is this? No, 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 I had two rounds to hit him. Ah. Damn it. Okay. I'm gonna rest at the bonfire here. And I guess I just have three SS Flask charges. Man, I had two rounds to hit that guy. And, like, I just couldn't get... Just, like, couldn't do it. That's fine. Alright, don't need to go down there. I uh, see two... Let's see if I can get on the, on the mausoleum again. Okay, I seriously just don't know how to jump to land on that thing, but that's fine. Drop down, holding the plunge attack, plunge him nice and good. 
Let's get ready to hit this guy. Roll. And let's kill him. Alright, so there's going to be a boss on the other side of this. Just so everyone understands that that's a thing that they should be ready for. Okay, let's uh, hold up my shield, recover my souls, and uh, I misread what that said. It looked like it said something restored, but I couldn't actually read it. Let's roll. Okay, let's get uh, two hits on him. Okay, holding the shield up. Let's recover my stamina here. Roll behind him. Hit him with two attacks. Hold the shield up. Roll. Hit him with two attacks. Hold the shield up. Roll. He's gonna do another attack. No, never mind. He's gonna turn into a dragon. Let's hit him. Heavy attacks were a terrible idea there. I should have done light attacks to get more hits in. Okay, Tyrannosaurus Rex. Looking bastard. Alright, let's get up close to him. And he's gonna do an attack here. Let's roll behind him. Hit him in the butt a couple of times. Let's, uh, he's doing that thing again. We will not get eaten by that Tyrannosaurus Rex dragon. Okay, got hurt there. It's fine. Let's, let's back up. I need to put some distance between me and this boss here. Let's, uh, what the hell was that? Okay. Okay, got some distance between me and him so my stamina can be, uh, nice and full. Let's get close. Let's let him do whatever the hell that is. And I should be able to just hit him to death. Okay, second tries to charm. Should have been, should have been the first try, but that's fine. The air of fire destroyed. Let's light this bonfire and embrace the flame. Was apparently the achievement that I just unlocked. Okay, I got apparently according to chat, I got further than Wander did the first time he fought that boss, and that's all I need to feel like a satisfied human being. My heart is pounding a lot right now. Just gonna throw that out there. Cool. 